Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here to check out a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. Ask us to check out Kevlar Tark. It is what it is. It is what it is. And the name of the song, oh god help me. Uh, that is also, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Funden to Det Hull. Hull City. Hull City. Alright, on that note, are you ready to check this out? Yeah. Alright, let's fucking do it. Speed in darkness! <laughs> Holy shit! Ooh. 
love this. Oh, bring it back. Right, do you want to go first on this? Yeah. All right. Um, hit, hit me up. Okay. I don't know if you didn't also notice that, but at the end, that that, that little lick that went into the end of the song, that dun, 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 it sounds like, I, 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 at this moment, I cannot remember the name of the song. I'm not good with names, but it does. It's. It sounds like a song you've heard before. Oh my god! And it's so like. You know, this comment would be a lot better if you could actually oh, know what the song I, was. I will show. That... I, I think I. I'll show. I'll go, I will go back to it after the video. And as long as, to be honest, as long as you end up finding out and we're on the same path, I don't care. Okay. Right? Because most likely other people probably heard it and they knew right away too. So hopefully. Yeah, they, also, they shall not be named. They, they also will know. But that that was so, I, I, I've heard it, I've heard it like millions of times. I've heard that, that uh, the little lick. Other than that, the song itself, um... Uh, this type right. of song. I want to see where you're going with this. Why? Did you enjoy the the song? Oh, fuck from... yeah! I enjoyed the song. All right. But there's a but. Oh, there, I, and you know I like big butts. Cannot lie. No. Other brothers cannot deny. That's true too. But uh, you know, a song like this, the genre of this song and everything, for me at least, uh, around the four minute I was kind of nodding out, and then they brought in the fast stuff to keep me back. Yeah, in. the speed and darkness. And then nods me out again and then has that riff that shall not be named and then ends off the song the problem is is with this type of music i don't ever th you know whenever i do listen to it it's never longer at least almost eight minute songs and, and that's where that's where you're losing me here because i feel like you know this genre itself it's perfect in those sure. five minute songs four minute songs because they really give you everything and there's no time to nod off where I'm thinking, okay, something needs to wake me up here. It should never have that. Okay. It should always be keeping you on your toes, giving you that nice... Keeping you giddy. ...darkened feel, but still having... A like that, that black and rock and roll. Black and rock and roll feel to it. The, 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 the nice feel of the rock and roll, but yet the darkness of the blackened area. Um, and, you know, as much as I love this song... That's my that's my that's my issue, is the fact that yes there was no part that that f there was no it, it kept me in there was the parts that kept me in but songs like this should be those smaller songs that really 
give you your jolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... I understand what you're saying. I mean, that, that's... I, 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 I feel like that's what the black and I, rock and roll is for I me. agree with you, but I feel differently about it. And right. I'll explain why. But before I do, you know what I just realized? What? That Blackened by Metallica has no blackened elements in it. Because we were talking about black... I was, and then immediately, it's like, you know what? Fuck! If you're going to name your song Blackened, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't the song have some black metal elements in it? Anyways, I, I just thought... Of, but then again, there was no bass on that record, so it is what it is. Um... No, I agree with you. I 100% subscribe to everything you just said. But I feel differently about it. About this one specifically. Because I was listening to this song. Okay, now let me, let me say yeah, my yeah, yeah. The, the reason why I agree with you... Well, that was me. Sorry about that. The reason I agree with you is because I, 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 I subscribe to the exact same things you're saying. But this song felt different to me. You know, because I was listening to it. And I was picturing myself in a very specific place. I was, I was listening to it the first portion of the song. I'd say maybe the first four minutes. This is like a road trip song. You know, the window down, you're driving, you don't want something too loud in the car because there's other people in the car. You just want something that is going to keep you upbeat, it's going to keep you moving, there's your hair flowing in the wind. Maybe not my hair, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Your hair flowing in the wind. And then suddenly, suddenly, as I'm driving, imagine, uh, as the passenger on this ride that we're on here, imagine you sitting next to me in the car, perhaps in the back seat, and I'm the one driving, the song is playing, this is happening. Suddenly, I realize that I'm lactose intolerant and I just had something with milk and you know my stomach is starting to go to war with me so I need to drive a lot faster with purpose so I can freaking do what I need to do and that's when the song got fast I was like oh yeah I've been there I I've been cruising and then suddenly I fucking gotta go you know I, I just I gotta foozy booze my way into whatever into that empty parking lot of a funeral home and just drop one right there then the song sounded like I did when I walked back into the car after dropping said deuce. So it gave me that mellow feel of kind of coming back to it. And then the song picks up a little bit, but not to the same, not to the same extent, but picks up a little bit because you realize, you know what? I still have some lingering effects, so I better get home before shit goes sideways, literally. So this whole track, I, I felt connected with this song because it reminded me of that journey, of that experience of that moment in my life that I'm not proud of. And this song... You're not proud of it. You've said it on the channel many of times. Okay, but this song represents all of the different momentums of that said journey. Dude. And because of that, I fucking loved it. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how I got here, as long as I'm here. That's that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with. Fuck. I like how you said, like, so much, yet nothing at the same time. Dude, are you telling me that if you listen to this song now, thinking of that day... The song does not represent exactly everything that happened on that day. No, yeah, like no, because because no, because <laughs> no. because now it just takes that day and it makes it completely different. Because now I don't think I'm in our car. I think I'm in a fucking Volkswagen minibus and we're going down this one way street in the middle of no and, and like some sun's peeking out, but there's no trees or no nothing. It's just us in the road and then you're like i gotta drop a deuce and then there's a funeral home fucking third like kilometers and kilometers <laughs> away and you're bolting what? it on that one why would road. i bolt to get there i mean if we're in the middle of nowhere i can pretty much just go anywhere no because the funeral home <laughs> gives you some type of warmth to it you know <laughs> the warmth embrace <laughs> oh, of death but oh. yet the warmth embrace of what's coming out of <laughs> oh jeez oh boy like what the fuck i don't know when i was listening to this song i was thinking about all of that when I was listening to the song... I love the song, though. When I was listening to the song... Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the song. When I was listening to the song, I'm like, yes, I, I'm loving everything that you're putting at me. But the problem is, is that since I had that nodding off feel and you had to wait... In black and rock and roll, you should never have that nodding off feel. It should always... But you're assuming you. the whole band is... Like, their sound... Like, th this is, I think, our second time checking out this band on the channel. I, I don't think we have that deep of a, a repertoire or knowledge of what these guys offer... To That's jump in, true. to jump into conclusions, but when here. the song is this, it okay, 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 but that fine. doesn't that doesn't excuse the fact that the song is this because all the cool shit could have just been cut down into like a a five minute track, and all it is is cool shit because then that that gives you that perfect black and rock you know five minute track that really just gets to you. There's no there's no pockets. Do, do you the of, of the song is overextended? It's overextended. Okay, fair enough. This is the extended version. I want the radio version. All right, fair enough. 
Fair enough. I because I, I don't care. I don't disagree because, with any of because that. Because there's too there's too it's like it's like a season of a show and there's filler episodes. I don't want filler episodes. I want uh, you rather have eight episodes in the season. I rather have eight episodes. Twelve. I rather have eight episodes that I've just binge watched because I enjoyed it so much and I disregarded whatever the fuck I was doing that day. Then Versus like having twelve episodes. Twelve episodes of like five of them just filler. And, like, the characters walking around town like, like, buying gummies. Or, or like, the, when, when they go back in time and you see, like, uh, something from the past that, you know, doesn't really impact necessarily how the future Exactly. Goes. I don't... I, I Like I said before, I don't disagree with anything that you're saying. You don't have to convince me. Oh, no, I I'm unconvinced. I For me, the only reason why this song... It's because it reminded you of your shit. Me, it reminded me of that day. It reminds you of your shit. Because the, the, the tempo of the song moved exactly how my day moved. So I was like, "Fuck this song!" What a compliment! And this song is the hey, is, is the musical representation of one of the imagine, shittiest imagine, days of my life. Imagine going up to the guys and be like, "Guys, your song was so good; it reminded me of the day I shat behind a <laughs> behind funeral wasn't, home. It wasn't behind; it was in the parking lot. In the of parking the... lot of a funeral home. Is that really when, a when compliment? They... <laughs> uh, am I going to listen to it again? Yes. So if I want to listen to it again, then it's a compliment. You know, somebody's garbage is somebody else's treasure. I don't know how that applies to this, but I know I'm trying to rescue this situation. You, you, you literally by I'm, bringing up that story, you've that's how I was because I was listening to this you song. Pop, you popped the air raft because I was listening to this song in the beginning of the track. The the, the movement. It you don't have to explain me yourself. Me you already road. did. Like, you already you know, did. Fuck. It does remind you of on the road, but for me, when I think of this song in the road, I think of a one way street in a fucking Volkswagen minibus. Just high. It's a road trip with the surfboards on top and surfboards on top. Even though we fuzzy don't surf. dices. Fuzzy dices. All right. Picking up hitchhikers. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right. If you're on a one way road and you're picking up hitchhikers, you're just asking for trouble. That is true. That is true. That is very true. All right. On that note, guys, let us know what does this song do for you. Does it make you feel special? Do you agree with me and him? Kind of. I agree with you. Like yeah, we're yeah. on the same page here. I just said because of my own personal experience, this song works works for me. Just be, if I didn't have that personal experience, the song I, I would I wouldn't be fully with me. I would be a hundred percent with you. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Oh my God, this guy is so hard to please. All right, hit us up on the comment section. Let us know what you think of this song. How does it make you feel? What experience does it bring you back to? Exactly. What memories does this bring to life or light? Hopefully it's nothing shit related. Yeah, hopefully. Just giggles. All right, guys. See you at the next video. See ya.